Hey, what's up, guys? This is Andrew Smursek with Combat Air Training. Today's video, we're going to be talking about moon cuts on Glock pistols and why I put it on my Glock 45. Now, where I first learned about this was James Aker's YouTube channel, so I want to give due credit to him and Tactical Response. He had a video about Gen 5 Glock 19s, and in that, he talked about why it has the moon cut and what the benefits of it are. But I'm going to share it with you. Also, if you haven't already, go take Fighting Pistol, that's my most recommended class, and go to LiberTV.com, become a premium member there, watch the Fighting Pistol DVD, and then watch all the other DVDs. There's a wealth of knowledge available for you at just $10 a month. Now, let's get to the moon cut. So, I put it on my Glock 45, right? <clears throat> and I post the pictures, and of course, everyone went crazy about it, as I expected them to, and... <laughs> People just don't get it. So usually people bitch about the moon cut because they say it hangs them up on reloads. Reality is you can reload just fine if you have a moon cut. Um, you just have to practice. Uh, the thing that they're really crying about is that it's uncomfortable for their pinky because they have little girl hands. Now I'm going to set up a double feed. Okay, that's where the moon cut is really beneficial. If you're going to try this at home, Make sure there's no ammunition in the room, no ammunition on your body, and your weapons are clear. Make sure you're always pointing a weapon in a safe direction. Fall all the firearm safety rules because you're building a habit every time you pick up a gun. Now, I've set up a double feed. Slide lock back, <coughs> insert mag, drop around in the chamber, and then let the slide go forward. And it's going to look like that, double feed. You're probably not new to it, but just want to clarify. Now. There's a bunch of different methods on how to clear it, but the method I use, again, learned at tactical response, is to simply reload the weapon. The difficulty comes where you can't drop the mag free. Now, if you felt that something wasn't right when you were shooting, you should move, tap, rack, but that doesn't work, so you're gonna reload. Maybe you saw the slide was locked back, so you're just gonna reload it anyways. Regardless, you grab your new mag with your index finger going along the length of the magazine with the tip of your finger up near the bullet at the top. Then you're going to reach up and grab the base plate of the old magazine with your middle finger. Pressing on the mag release, you're going to strip it out Insert the new mag, rack the gun, and get back to the fight. <clears throat> Every time I try this, it works just fine. I know some guys like to rack, 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 and do all sorts of other crazy stuff. This works just fine for me. Now, the other big reason why I love the moon cut so much is working a double feed off my belt. Now, if you were stripping the magazine off of your belt, you were doing it because you're fighting one-handed. You may have to someday. This is another reason why you want to carry extra magazines. We don't necessarily carry extra magazines to fight more people, although if you had to fight one, you might have to fight more. And if you look at the news right now, there's a lot of people out there that are gaining up on civilized folks. So be ready for that and carry extra mags. But, the biggest reason why you're carrying an extra magazine is to fix the gun if there's a malfunction. Most malfunctions are usually user-induced or a magazine-related issue. Otherwise, it's probably shitty ammo, so stop buying shitty ammo, too. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to demonstrate it one-handed. So, we're fighting, and then the gun stops working. You get the trigger that is dead. No click or anything. We're gonna move, tap, rack. That doesn't fix it. So what we're gonna do is clear our shirt, hook the base plate on our belt, press on the mag release, strip that magazine out, and reholster the pistol, grab a new magazine, insert, Tap, rack, make sure the ejection port is clear, and go back to the fight.
Now keep in mind too guys, the whole time I've been doing this, I've been doing it with a Gen 4 magazine. Gen 4 magazines have a shorter base plate. So it works even better with Gen 5 magazines or if you want to buy aftermarket base plates, go ahead. Just make sure it's a good uh, reputable manufacturer. Now, thanks for watching guys. I hope that explains it. Um, you don't have to have a moon cut on your pistol, but that's why I put them on mine. Check out our website, combatartrain.com. We have classes, slings, private training available. Also, again, go take Fighting Pistol and go to libertytv.com and become a premium member. All right, guys, stay safe. Remember that training saves lives.